Yeah, I know. And he's always saying how poor he is and how he hasn't got two coins to rub together, but he owns three houses and a hotel. Ah, oh, I hate playing Monopoly. But, anyway, I better go. Catch you later. Normally, when someone calls you a smartass, it's a bad thing, but not when you're playing Smartass the Board Game. Smartass, the board game, proudly states on the box that you can win even if you're a dumbass. In this game, players simply yell out when they know the answer to a question as the clues progress. You don't have to sit there biting your tongue because it's someone else's turn. It's all in fun. The game comes with little donkey playing tokens, the multi-sided dice you need to play, and the four categories of question cards. There's who am I, where am I, what am I, and the more difficult hard-ass cards. The game also features special spaces on the board, including hard ass, kick ass, which moves your token three places back, and dumb ass. And the whole point of smart ass, the board game, is to make your way via correct answers to the very ass of the ass itself. All of which begs the question is there too much ass in smart ass, the board game? We contacted the Ass Scrutineers Society of Australia, or ASA, and they issued this statement. <clears throat> The Arse Scrutineer Society of Australia can make no comment on the amount of arse in Smart Arse the board game, but any game that combines kick arse, hard arse and dumb arse into one fun activity is probably existing at the top level of arse allowed in Australia. <laughs> Interesting words. All arse aside, it was named the winner of the Australian Games Association Game of the Year, and if nothing else, it's a great opportunity for the whole family to get together and say the word arse a lot. And it could be yours with Power FM's Toy World Test Drive. No girl who doesn't